putting in there are three things you must know about me. Number one, I am talkative. Number two, I am loud. And number three, I am very opinionated. Now you would think that this would make talking about Jesus really easy, right? All you gotta do is go up and say someone, hey, how's it going? I know Jesus, how about you? Well, a really cool opportunity arose a few weeks ago. I was talking with my study hall teacher and she was asking me about church. And she said, what church do you attend? And I said, North Shore Assembly. And she was taken off guard by the word assembly. We got to talking about how she was Assemblies of God as well. And it gave me the boldness to talk about Jesus in a setting that I never would have expected. Now, lucky for us, the Bible talks about these exact things, about doing greater than even Jesus did. So if you have your Bible today, turn with me to John 14. We're going to be taking a look at verse 12, and it goes like this. It says, Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. Now there are three things we must understand about this verse. The first thing is that we must believe. Now this is not a oh yes, I'm aware of Jesus, I know who he is, leave it at that kind of belief. This is a relationship, a common theme that other believers find with their relationship with Jesus Christ, belief in the Bible, and living out exactly what it says. It is not a superficial belief, it is not one to be taken lightly, it is living your life for Christ as you believe in him. The second thing is that Jesus says that we will do greater than he did. Now, my Bible says that Jesus did some pretty incredible things. He raised the dead back to life. He turned water into wine. He raised the dead, the sick, also. He healed the blind men. Jesus did absolutely incredible things. And we're going to do greater? Us in our flesh, the bodies that we seem weak, incompetent sometimes, we will do greater than Jesus did. We can raise dead people back to life. And that is an incredible thought. So we believe and we can do greater. And this is only by the power that is invested in us through the Holy Spirit. Jesus tells us that this is possible because he is going to the Father. We know that Jesus did work on earth. He was here. He had 12 disciples. He walked. He talked. He spoke about the things he was doing. He taught. But Jesus was one man, and so he could stand here in this space and he could speak to a crowd of people, but he wasn't 5,000 miles away in Europe either, and then down in Florida, and over in Washington. He was in one place at one time. Through the Holy Spirit, when Jesus goes to the Father, we are all carriers of the Holy Spirit. Every single one of us in this room has the Holy Spirit inside of us. The people out in the hallway have the Holy Spirit inside of them. The people in the next room over have the Holy Spirit, and that empowers us, and that allows us to spread the word of God. That allows us to do these great things. That empowers us limitlessly to proclaim Jesus. We have the power in us. We have the knowledge in us. We have the very word of God on exactly how to do it. All we need to do is believe. All we need to do is understand that Jesus calls us to do greater. He does not call us to be closet Christians. He does not call us to sit and to wait for God to present opportunities in our lap. He calls us to go and to do greater than even he did. And then he tells us that we have the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us to do these things. We are limitless. It's just an opportunity. Will you take it or will you waste it? Let's pray together today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity that we, that we have to come together today. God, we pray that you would anoint every one of us that's going to be in this room, God. Anoint the judges, anoint the people that are going to watch. God, we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen.